María Alfonsina Daniel Gatas, et María a Jesús Crucifixo Babodri, Santas S. de Cernimus e de Finimus, a Sanctorum Catalogo Ascribimus, Statuenti Seas in Universa Ecclesia, Inter Santos Pia Devozioni in Recoli de Vere. With this formula in Latin, Pope Francis declared Marie Alphonsine Daniel Gatas and Mariam of Jesus Crucified Bawadi saints on Sunday, May the 17th at St. Peter's Square on the Parvis of the Vatican Basilica. Along with the two Palestinian religious, two other sisters were also canonized, Giovanna Emilia de Villeneuve and Maria Cristina of the Immaculate Conception. After the proclamation of the formula, relics of the new saints were brought to the altar. The joy and hope of the faithful present in the square were expressed through the singing of the Jubilati Deo. It was a great celebration, especially for the more than 2,000 people who came from Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon and Israel. They made up a large delegation, led by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Fuad Tual. There were about 100 relatives of Marie Alphonsine from Canada and about 20 from Australia. In addition, the family of the child who was miraculously cured through Mariam Bawaudi's intercession came from Italy for the event. As you can see, the numbers are great. Where they meet, there is a celebration, and where there is a celebration, everyone gathers together. In his homily, the Holy Father focused on the Apostles' direct and stupendous experience of the resurrection, and along with their experience, that of the generations of saints. La nostra fede è legata saldamente alla loro testimonianza. Our faith is firmly tied to their witness as an unbroken chain deployed over the centuries, not only by the successors of the Apostles, but also by generations of Christians. Recalling the first letter of John, the Pope repeated, Whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. And this is the secret of the saints. This is what the four women who were proclaimed saints today did. This is also a reference to the work and charism of the two fledgling Palestinian saints. Mariam Bawaldi, who, being humble and illiterate, was able to give advice and theological explanations very clearly. This was the fruit of continuous dialogue with the Holy Spirit. Docility to the Holy Spirit also made her an instrument of encounter and communion with the Muslim world. Likewise, Sister Marie Alphonsine Daniel Gatas understood what it means to radiate the love of God in the apostolate, becoming a witness of meekness and unity. Marie Alphonsine is a sign, a great sign for us, a sign that allows us to reflect. We then pray with seriousness and awareness for spiritual renewal in our religious life, both on a personal level for each sister and as a congregation. We experience an atmosphere of spirituality, so we ask the saints for a blessing for the Middle East, for our country, and for all those who have asked us to pray for them. After Holy Mass, Pope Francis greeted those present, and in particular the official delegations from Palestine, France, Italy, Israel and Jordan. Among them there was Mahmoud Abbas, President of the Palestinian State. In the days leading up to the canonization, the bilateral commission between the Holy See and the State of Palestine reached an agreement over the presence of the Catholic Church in Palestine, which may soon be signed. The text even includes the hope for a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in the framework of two states for two peoples. This event is very important for us. It tells us that the Holy Land, Palestine, is a land of peace and of saints. We pray for peace and we ask the two saints, Mariam of Jesus Crucified and Maria Alphonsine, that there may be peace in our country. The canonization of the two saints is a proclamation of faith for the entire Middle East. It was important to see the Pope among the people. 
he is such a humble person. We came with a group of young students from all over Palestine with the slogan, We come to be holy. We want to be holy with the two saints. There are about 30 of us, male and female college students. The atmosphere today is very beautiful. It unites hearts and love and peace, especially the peace and love that Pope has reiterated. Despite the massacres, the forced displacement and persecution of which Eastern Christians are victims, we see that God in this difficult time has chosen two saints from the Holy Land. I think every Palestinian present in Rome today feels proud to be Palestinian, sons and daughters of this Holy Land that has produced two very great and important saints.